So I saw a guide for fan replacement. They ripped the foil, removed the metal panel, and I'm thinking, why? Don't do that. Just gently peel back the black sticker, pull out the cable, tilt the fan, and you can slide it out. Much simpler. I am assuming here that you've removed the two screws that hold down the fan in place. For the new one, just do the reverse and slide it back in. Now before you screw down the fan, make sure that those top two holes are lined up because the case screws have to go through these. I found I needed to put a bit of pressure from the bottom right to make sure that the fan butted up tight against the, against the copper cooler before tightening down the screws. Okay, new fan in, the steam deck put back together and here is some watchdogs uncapped so the FPS is being pushed to the maximum and the fan has had time to ramp up to its full speed. It is now all whoosh and no wine. If you've made it this far, here's some bonus tips. Number one, make sure you remove that micro SD card. Despite me seeing people snap theirs in half, I nearly forgot myself. Number two, make sure you have a proper plastic tool for running along the seam to prise open the case. The joins at the triggers are the easiest starting point. Number three, before closing the case, check the edges where the two case parts join. Fluff, dirt, bits of the plastic tool that rubbed off. You want to make sure it's clean before you join the two parts together. Number four, make sure the case is fully clipped together before putting any screws back. Go around the seam and make sure each part is fully clipped in. When tightening down the screws, don't just screw down one to the fullest. Do each screw a little bit at a time and move in a diagonal pattern. This allows the plastic to flex and sit in its natural position. And that is all. Good luck with your fan replacement and happy gaming.